Looks like I'm gonna have a conversation with a few people here on this part of the internet that cannot be accessed with a normal web browser and tell you all about the deep dark web and see where the rabbit hole goes. So here we go. This is Landrider 7, aka LR7, Land here, talking about interests and such, as well as traveling to places to a complete stranger here on the deep web. Instead of me narrating every single word that these people say, I'm just gonna talk about a couple of things while chatting with people, so you'll have to read whatever they say on the video if you're interested in the conversation itself, as it is not relevant to what I have to say about this exact same topic. I first started when I was looking into some videos back in 2013 in the days where anonymous videos and Silk Road was still a thing during that time in which I first heard about the deep web which got me curious enough to come across a program that makes it possible to go undetected while accessing that part of the internet that you cannot use with just a normal browsing setup called Tor or the Onion Router as it's known for the amount of layers it takes to keep your digital tracks difficult to trace back to keeping your exact location anonymous there are many different factors that you have to take into consideration in order to be able to safely browse the deep web. Like the fact that no one regulates it, nor can they really shut down websites unless they have an unreliable source to host them. You're definitely going to find some very questionable content if on the clear net or normie net would have been taken off instantly. Before I heard about deep web browsing from Mudahar on Some Ordinary Gamers, I have explored a good number of different sites relying on bookmarking websites in order to navigate in this otherwise difficult place to explore with strings of mixed letters and numbers as URLs unless you can memorize every single letter and have this kind of photographic memory to be able to just type in all those strings of letters and numbers you're gonna have a very hard time trying to navigate around making it susceptible to scams and downright deception of copied websites from one another this is the part where you really have to be careful on what you click on as some of these links may contain some very very illegal content that just by looking at it, you could potentially go to prison. If you get caught, of course. Very much like the stalkers you encounter in social media and other forms of communication in the deep web or darknet as described in this video, there exist social groups and gatherings where they can exchange information like leaked data and doxing, which is a pretty big thing and a very bad thing if you are on the list of hard data collected because somebody doesn't like that person enough to just flat out violate their privacy in this way. Imagine this was somebody you know or somebody that you're close to, better yet somebody who you might despise for whatever reason, may end up here if they're not careful on where they put their information out on. Speaking of information, there's a lot of hidden gems that can be very useful, especially in the country that you happen to be on, this information is forbidden from being widely known about because some authoritarian government wants to suppress people from the truth or even worse 
flat out lie about things. And if word leaks out, then it's bad news for those in power. And what better way to surpass censorship over the internet than to use the deep web in order to anonymously get that information out to someone who will receive it and not get caught doing so just as long as personal information that can identify that individual doesn't get compromised much like chatting with a complete stranger here as demonstrated in the background of this video all the serial killer videos snuff films and downright creepy art projects some are real others not so much aside and you get the stuff that is worthwhile there are sites where you can actually purchase goods and services with the help of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Monero, and Ethereum, and several others that are yet to be mentioned. In order to make anonymous payments so no one can track your purchases that easily, which that's a topic for another video. So due to the nature of these e-commerce websites on the deep web, just wanting to steal your your money out of your ignorance in order for them to be able to take your hard-earned cash when you're naive enough to fall for it. So if it's too good to be true then it most likely is and you shouldn't trust it. And you could potentially go to jail if you get caught. So it's a huge risk that's not worth trying. Stolen credit cards, goods, illegal substances, fake identification cards, or even hiring a serial killer are just one of the examples that you'll find coming across when you explore these parts of the deep web. Also, have I mentioned that you can find hacks and exploits and you pay money in order for them to use against anyone? Yes, there are tools, very, very specific exploits that should have been reported but to sell to other hackers at a profit going up to the thousands due to several factors like incompetence or an undiscovered bug that reveals user passwords and even emails for potential extortion towards the victim of having an account on that website. It is definitely a place where you can actually buy entire databases of breached websites for future exploitations or better yet even be able to purchase different viruses that can be pre-programmed for different purposes rather it's to lock down anyone's computer or to downright spying on a unsuspecting victim if they're incompetent enough to unknowingly let that happen another reason to be very very careful on what you download into your computer or device, especially if it contains very sensitive information that you do not want anyone else to get a hold of. It's not just a deep web that has these tools, even certain parts of the internet you can still get a hold of something that can potentially destroy your computer or your entire digital livelihood from a shady website that claims to have free stuff you can download from websites hosted on different parts of the world where certain laws don't apply and are even in another language just to go under the radar from being taken down while on the deep web it's either there for one day and the next you may never see that site ever again due to the nature on how these websites are hosted in this unregulated part of the web now this is not to say that you should never ever 
visit the deep web. On the contrary, you're more than free to do so. As long as you don't reveal your true identity, especially if you're a minor, then I suggest you outright stay away from it. It is said that the deep web is 10 times bigger than the regular clear net as it contains far more websites and far more content that is truly hidden and is yet to be discovered by anyone looking hard enough that even those that have used the deep web for years haven't even found or is difficult to come across. Like the Mariana web where it's rumored to where you need to access it through a very 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 specific type of proxy or even a computer that no one else has a hold of. Some say governments and secret societies use this, this inaccessible web rumored to be used by other outer-worldly figures or even containing information that is so classified that you would instantly get killed in a very short amount of time. But then it is very easy to say that it doesn't exist and it's just a myth. Ever since the deep web name came into light by the mainstream, there has been many misconceptions on what it is, what it's for, and why it even exists in the first place. For instance, the words deep web and dark net are actually two completely different things. Although it's been used interchangeably, as the deep web is for unindexed sites while the dark net are forms and site in the deep web where the actual illegal activities take place. Also, there is no law preventing you from visiting that part of the internet just as long as you yourself don't perform these illegal sites, you will be perfectly fine unless you're from a country where they outright ban the use of proxies and VPNs. As long as you don't get caught, you should be fine. Even if you have no plans of visiting the deep web whatsoever, you can actually use the Tor browser to visit any other website no different than any other regular website except you are very likely anonymous with ad blocker and for an extra layer of security use open source software and operating systems like Linux and BSD or even a live ISO you won't have to download everything all over again so there's no need to install it in your computer or anyone else's for that matter running it directly from a USB but anyhow this is is just scratching the surface there is so much about it that I have missed or have not mentioned and we'll continue to explore this topic furthermore so if you're going to visit the deep webs you do that at your own risk till then this is LR7 logging out By the way, deep web loot boxes do not exist.